Hey guys, how you doing today? This weekend I had a little project that I was thinking about doing. Ended up completing it. Came out pretty decent. And I figured I'd share it with you guys for all you guys that are Airsoft fans. This is a really easy target that you guys can do yourself um, for very, very cheap. I didn't get it, the ideas from anything on the internet. I just kind of brainstormed when I saw the stuff. So first off, here's what we did. I'll show you it from the back first so I can explain how we did it. Go to your local craft store, Walmart, whatever. Get yourself a board. It's a styrofoam board. These only cost $2.99, guys. And then what you do is you get yourself some styrofoam bricks. Um, I got mine at AC Moore. They came in green or white. And they cost, I think, it was $2.99 for a pack of six of them. Well, six or seven. Of, yeah, six of them. And that was, like I said, $2.99 plus the... No, $3.99 for the bricks. I'm sorry. So that was $4 plus $2.99 for the board. So that's $7. Plus I reused. I just cut out some of my zombie targets. What I did was I made a homemade target board. And here's what it looks like. So these are styrofoam bricks. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put cans on top of these guys. Like three cans. I'm going to use them for sniping from far distance. Got your basic zombie targets. Put it on here. Once those are gone, you can re glue new ones. And then for my other bricks, as you can see, they're three dimensional. They stick out. And I taped or glued zombie pictures on them. And then these are called shoot and see targets. And what these look like when you shoot at them is this they come all black just like you see, but when you shoot at them, they actually have like a neon yellow under under layer that puts the holes more visible, as you can see here. This is my pro target too. It's a paper target that I use that has a net that captures all the BBs. I can zipper at the bottom, and they're interchangeable, seven by seven. It's a pretty decent target. Yeah, guys, it's been shooting a bunch of stuff in the basement down here. Figured we'd make some new new stuff to shoot at. So this is my homemade. Really affordable, under ten dollars, zombie target. So you put cans or anything you want on top of this layer here. They just stand up. Styrofoam cups, anything. I'm gonna use cans since they have a little weight. This is pretty cool, guys. Coming up next. Coming up next, guys, in the next video we're going to be doing in a couple minutes, we're going to be viewing the U.S. Thompson. This thing is fucking sweet. Over 300 feet per second, guys. So let's slide it here. Full magazine which I'm going to empty right now so that way I can dry fire it for you guys. But we'll be reviewing this. And don't worry guys, I promise you guys that when I do shoot my first shots at the zombie target that I made, it's going to all be on video. I'm not going to shoot that target at all unless it's on video, I promise. It's for you guys. I made it for the viewers. Um, so we will be back very soon, guys, with the U.S. Thompson Review Spring Action. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.